going on guys hope you're doing well today we are talking about the infamous west lake tires prior to the year 2022 model coming out that just recently came out these grand design imagine this is a 2800 bh grand design imagine they came with the Westlake tires, AKA some people call them China bombs. But today I wanna to talk about my experience with these. I think you're gonna be a little bit surprised. I'm not for or against, I'm not sponsored by Westlake. I'm not sponsored by any tire company. I'm just telling you my experience, 10,000 miles in, we got this rig in January of this year, 2021, and we've already put over 10,000 miles on it, traveling across the country, doing different trips. We have some experience with these and I wanna check it out with you right now. Here we go. All right, guys, so here they are. The first thing I want to talk about, let's just, just go straight to the tire size. ST225 by 75 R15. I do know these are speed rating for 75 miles an hour. I know a lot of the, the more beefier tires that are travel trailer tires, they typically have a 65 mile an hour rating. So that's something to keep in mind with, all right? So just thinking about how you're driving and how fast or slow you'll be going. The first thing you need to do, seriously, most people don't read this, but actually read the safety warning note. Safety warning note note right there and there's a lot of different things that it says you know it talks about mixing radial and non-radial tires on the same axle that's a no-no you don't want to do that you're putting yourself and your family and loved ones and people around you in danger and at risk and look at here i'll hold it so you can kind of look at it you can pause your screen if you like just if you want to read it but i strongly advise you to read this how you inflate over inflating under inflating all those things can be can be a problem guys it really can be a problem. These are the original tires right here that we purchased this tire, this uh, trailer with back in January, and we've traveled all over the country with it. We've camped in the winter, we've camped in the summer, right? different climates, different terrain, they've done well. But the one thing we always do is check the tire pressure. The Grand Design Imagine, uh, this is a 2021. So this model year, they come with a TPMS pre-wire system. So it's like 200 bucks and some change, or more than 200 bucks, but, 250 plus I'd say to get it well well worth it because it alerts your phone and there's some issues with it But uh, and I'll touch on that But these right here. This is the little uh, tire caps that you put on they send the signal to the overall TPMS You put one on each of the four tires. So on the other side over there too. You put them on there um, uh, Also, as you can see I have the, the uh, tire covers on there very very important it keeps your tire from dry riding but going back to the review on it guys this has been it's been good uh no issues no blowouts thank god um but again going back to here we do a lot when i tell you a lot of maintenance and monitoring uh when we're driving we have the tpms monitor up what it does is it gives you a heads up it gives you an alert you can set different limits how much air you want to have in it if it drops below a certain threshold it alerts you if it goes up the PSI, excuse me, if it goes up above a certain threshold, it alerts you. It also gives you your temperature rating. So you can set all of those. I think I have it set to, if it goes, when it gets to 105 degrees or higher, it alerts me. That's when I know I need to pull over, uh, but we didn't have to stop. Um, actually, we did end up stopping and getting something to eat. All right, so you gotta know that, but we would have never known the temperature of it or even the PSI, the pressure, because the more heat that you uh, generate the more friction as you're riding down the road what happens is these things heat up and, but at least it alerts you once you're alerted it's up to you to make the right decision on it it's kind of looking at the tread wear guys again the, the, any tire can blow can can malfunction so uh, there's a big piece of it there and this is just some lint from the tire covers but if you look at the tread across 10,000 miles you look at the tread good wear it's been good I haven't been stuck anywhere um, there's no cracks. I mean, things look good. I inspect these every single time when we're traveling, especially on long distances. Every time we stop for gas, I'm walking around. I'm doing a, a walk around the whole rig, really. But specifically, I'm looking at these tires, making sure they're good to go. Before every trip, before every trip, I'm torquing the wrenches. I'm, excuse me, I'm torquing the lug nuts, making sure they're good, making sure they're they're in the proper balance. At 10,000 miles also, we did get the grease packed in. So, uh, and we just did an overall check really once we got back from our long trip to Arizona, uh, back to North Carolina. But if you're looking at these, this is it, man. I mean, guys, you hear a lot about the China bombs, a lot about things that are wrong. Considering tire performance and different people's experience is, we don't know what their behaviors are. We don't know if 
the tire blowing is because they were going too fast and maybe they weren't taking into account the heat of the day the temperature temperature of the day it could have been extreme it could have been over 100 degrees and the concrete or the asphalt was extremely hot because the asphalt and the concrete will be hotter than what the outside temperature is. Especially when you're on a highway or something when there's a lot of friction and cars are constantly rolling, that heat's just building up. We don't know what, what behaviors they took there. It could have been a malfunction or a faulty tire. They could have done everything right and still had a blowout, still had a malfunction. You know, thank God we've been, we've been blessed, we've been safe. Really no issues at all. I'd say if there's one issue that we have had is the TPMS system it will go out on you from time to time. So the TPMS system that we have that comes standard on the Grand Design, I think it's from Lippert. Lippert's a great company, don't get me wrong. Again, I'm not a sponsor or anything like that. I'm just talking about my experience with this. But the TPMS system is not the most reliable. It will go out on you. Um, it will freeze. It will just completely conk out and you have to do some things to troubleshoot it. The good thing is this, once you get used to using it, what typically happens is you learn all the ins and outs and you learn little tricks to keep it working. Now I've listened to, all, read the forums and looked at a lot of different things and I've said, you know what, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and be proactive and take these perfectly good tires off and put some high profile tires on like, uh, and when I say profile, I don't mean the actual profile of them, but some high quality Goodyear endurance tires that are seem to be pretty popular. And popular enough that now the, the 2022 models of this uh, now come standard with the Goodyear Endurance tires. So I am not against Goodyear uh, Endurance tires. I'm simply saying these tires have worked really, really well for me, for us. So I'm not saying that these don't have issues. I'm not saying that Goodyear Endurance or any other tire aren't good. I'm simply saying, I'm simply saying these tires have worked very well for us. We've been very conservative. We've been We've monitored them. We've been all over the place in all different types of terrains, boondocking uh, terrains, nice campground terrains. We've been there with it and they've done well, but we've been very conservative in how we take care of them. We monitor them. Um, and, and there's been times I've been going at high speeds just to, because the situation called for it. There's times I've gone at low speeds. So all in all, very happy with these. Uh, I don't love the reputation that they have. You know, saying, calling them China bombs, I don't think it uh, makes anybody feel any more comfortable using them. But I can tell you, so far, so good. 10,000 miles in, and this is what we have. So for me, when I do switch, when it's time to switch them, yes, I will be going to Goodyear Endurance Tires. Because Goodyear, I mean, it's a reputable name. American Tire. That's important to me personally. Get to know your tires. Look at them all the time. Check them to make sure they're good. Do everything you can in your power to make sure that your wheels are safe. Are they perfect? I don't know if any tire is perfect, but they haven't blown out on us. We've been all over the country and we've had this thing for nine months now, less than a little less than nine months, about two weeks shy of nine months and no blowouts. And it's taken us to where we wanted to go. It begs the question for me, are these really as bad as people say they are? Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. I know everyone's gonna have a different experience with these. I'm not here to sell you or anyone else on these tires. I'm simply letting you know what has worked for us. In our case here, these have done well. They've taken us where we wanted to go. Very pleased. I need to wash them, clean them, put some armor all or tire shine on just to help protect it. But again, make sure guys, if you want these to last, you have to have the right behaviors. They are lower end tires by name brand Westlake. They're made in China. They're not made in America. For those of you who, who that matters to, but they don't have the great reputation. But again, they've done a phenomenal job for us. I'm thankful for them. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think. I really want to hear your feedback on these bad boys right here. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take care.